If we find a radioactive material where it shouldn't be, how do we determine which kind of radioactive material it is and how dangerous it might be? Radioactivity is when excess energy is emitted from the nucleus of an unstable or radioactive material. But what does this energy tell us? And can we use it to identify radioactive materials? There are three primary types of radioactivity, alpha, beta, and gamma. But here we focus on gamma radiation. Isotopes, or different masses of the same element, have the same chemical behavior, but the different masses are not always stable. Gamma radiation occurs when an unstable nucleus releases energy as a photon. The photon energy depends on the particular isotope that released it. When some radioactive isotopes decay, they produce photons with one energy, while others might produce photons with dozens of different energies from a single decay. Like the fingerprints of a person, a gamma energy profile is essentially the fingerprint of a radioactive isotope. Each isotope has its own unique decay profile based on the photons ejected by a sample. This means scientists can identify which radioactive isotopes are present without altering the sample. This is the basis for a technique called gamma spectroscopy. When a sample is placed in front of a detector, the released photons can travel into the detector crystal and deposit their energy. When energy is deposited in the crystal, it is converted into an electrical pulse, whose magnitude depends on the energy of the decay. These pulses are categorized into deposited photon energies. Combining the deposited photon energies provides a broad picture of the sample's radioactive output, known as an energy histogram or spectrum. Much like the defining features of a human fingerprint, the peaks along this spectrum are unique to each isotope. The horizontal axis shows the energies of gamma rays deposited in the detector, while the vertical axis shows the intensities of these energies. The composition of an unknown sample can be found by comparing its measured spectrum to those in an extensive library of radioactive isotope energy spectra. This approach allows scientists to determine the composition of a radioactive material without even touching it. Gamma spectroscopy is used in a wide range of applications, from deterring the smuggling of nuclear materials to improving modern healthcare.